Hi, this is Katie with Ask Slim. This is Trade Planning with Options on January 18th, 2024. Today we're going to look at an options trade idea in the financial sector ETF, ticker symbol XLF. First, our legal disclaimer, the options trades that I demo and follow up on are trade ideas. When I talk about closing, adjusting, or managing them, I'm simply educating around management techniques, best practices, theories around risk management and profit taking, and highlighting aspects of options trading that we encounter as we follow the trade ideas. This disclaimer is specifically related to options trading. For full legal information, please go to the Ask Slim website or email matt at askslim.com. Let's get started. We'll start here on the weekly chart of XLF for an overview. This cycle is the one that we are tracking. We have two out of phase cycles, but this one did not appear to have very much of an effect, although it did in the past. You can see that. So we're tracking this uh, black dominant cycle here, and you can see that it is getting to be the late rising phase towards the peaking phase. We had a strong move up off that intermediate low and got as far as the 127.2% Fib extension level. Notice that momentum is still positive with the reversal scout still green, but it is beginning to curl over a bit. So nothing here looks worrisome. Now let's switch over to the daily chart. On this daily chart, here is that strong move up off the intermediate low. This cycle had a right hand translation and positive configuration going into this uh, cycle trough. So right-hand translation means the cycle peaked on the right-hand side, leaving little time for a retracement. Positively configured means the cycle ended higher than where it began, in this case, much higher. So this is considered a swamped cycle where there is hardly any retracement, just a few days of a sideways to downward uh, movement. Notice the momentum in here. Neither the reversal scout nor the slim ribbon turned color during the retracement. They both remained positive. Then we had this move up to the 127.2% Fib extension from the weekly chart and something changed. XLF stalled and the reversal scout has now turned negative and the slim ribbon, which colors the candles red, green, or gray, depending on momentum conditions, has neutralized. The candles are now gray. We have also been testing this cycle low support, which is at 36.90, getting down as far as 36.95 today. So this would suggest probabilistically that the high for the daily cycle is in. So we have created a resistance zone using this high up here at 38.01 and this low at 36.95. Now that resistance zone will decline as XLF declines, but for now this is it. And the bottom of it is at 37.35, which we are just a few cents away from. And the top is at 37.61 with a 78.6% Fib at 37.78. So those are the levels that we would expect to hold based on the weakness that we're seeing. And those levels would be an ideal entry zone. Our entry signal could be a return to negative momentum on the two hour chart. Momentum in that time frame is currently negative, but it would turn positive if we were to get up into those levels. And so, as I said, a return to negative momentum in that time frame could be used as an entry signal if we were to get up into that zone. Now, as far as targets go, we would look for a move back down to this cycle low support at 36.90 down to about 36.20. We are going to go over to the Tasty Trade platform. If you're interested in that platform, go to the Ask Slim homepage, hover over the Marketing Partners tab, and click on Tasty Trade. That will take you to this page where you can learn more about our preferred options trading platform. If you decide to open an account with them through our link here, that will help you with a special bonus and it will also help us. Let's now go over to Tasty Trade. Here we go, I have XLF loaded in here. Notice that the IV rank is low at 10.4. Now because of that, we are going to look at a long premium strategy that will benefit from a pop in implied volatility. Let's use the February 16th expiration cycle because that aligns with our daily cycle timing window. 
Oh, well, XLF is a relatively inexpensive underlying, so when that entry signal comes, you could simply go and buy a put. The strike might be different when the signal comes, but as an example, if we were placing the trade right now, we could simply buy that 39 put. That would require us to pay a debit of $1.72. Now notice right here in this column that this strike has very little extrinsic value, one cent. You're buying one cent of extrinsic value. So in such a case, I would prefer this over a debit spread because with a spread, you're limiting your profit potential. And in this case, you're limiting that profit potential for very little in trade-off. So let's set an alert for XLF for when we get into that resistance zone and keep an eye out for an entry. I will update the trade idea then on the Discord channel and the options trade idea tracker. That is our options trade idea for today. I will follow up on this trade idea as necessary and also in a follow-up video next week. As always, you may reach out on Discord or via email to katie at asslim.com if you have questions or feedback.